Royce Evan there, killer that they performed for us. Um, I think it was back in March and they were in on shenanigans the last time and they were on the, the bandstand last night down in Bray, down the seafront for Bray Summerfest, which wraps up this weekend. And uh, joining me on the line now is Mick Glynn, one of the organisers. He's going to give us a run through of what to expect today and tomorrow. Isn't that right, Mick? That's right. Thanks, Sheila. Good afternoon. How are you? No, not bad. I uh, hopefully enjoyed last night. It was great. I know they're brilliant, and there was a lovely atmosphere down there. It's it's it's, it's great to see. God, it's grown a lot in the last few years, hasn't it? Oh, it's jumped up really, really well. I mean, I said it's running for the last thirty years. It's probably taken a bit of a jump up in the last ten years. And year and year, we seem to be able to build on it. And different acts seem to be want, wanting to play rather than us going and you know trying to find them. Uh, like Sinead Connor, for example, tonight is playing with Natty Whaler. She uh-huh. just decided she lives on the sea from the sheer side. Look. Why not give it a try and uh, do some reggae numbers with Natty Whale? And they're on stage at 10 o'clock this evening. That's great. It's not nice that it's kind of that kind of event as well that can be spontaneous and something like that can happen. It is because it is a small festival. There's no charge. As you know, you see, you've got the atmosphere yourself. It is open to everybody. They come along, they can watch a good act and just stand there and watch it. And then if you do want to go into a pub, you can have your choice. You can go in and watch it from there as well. So it has grown that way. And it is sort of a family friendly atmosphere with a bit of an edge as well. Absolutely. So that's, that's later on today. And then tomorrow there's, a, there's a, a very kind of a special day, isn't there? There's fireworks at the end of it. But what else is uh, going on? Yeah, we, we kind of decided this year to change the format slightly. It was kind of like ran over two weeks. We decided to, instead of doing the midweek stuff, we decided to divide it over five weekends. And this weekend is our final weekend. And we thought the best way to start to finish it up and do a finale was to do it for charity. Yeah. So tomorrow we have a charity day. We're calling it Charity Fest. We have a 10K run. We have a world record attempt with the guards. And we have um, a fireworks display and we have plenty of live music starting off with Jupe and finishing with a, a cover version band and Knights of Leon. But the fireworks take place at half ten. So it's a fitting, fitting end, we we'll say, to a long season, like a tourist season. Yeah. It's, do you know what I like about it as well? Where you have the bandstand, you can obviously get up close and personal to the bands and have the crack. But if you don't want that, there are speakers as well that are um, up at the, Mar- at the the Martello or in the Port Arts, right across the road. So you can sit there and, you know, have your food or have your drink and enjoy it from there as well. So you can have the best of both worlds really don't you you do you, I say, you can pick whatever you want if you just want to go in with your kids watch the event you know in, in a safe environment you can do that and as you said if you want if you like a drink or like to have food we have the music uh, relayed across into different bars across the street and that's what's helped probably the event grow yeah. is the fact that we're including so many different people that can all sort of uh, you know pitch into the pond as such to get the acts that can play for a certain amount of money so it's kind of like a bit of a balancing act between the two and it's worked out so far brilliant what time are the fireworks on again 10.30. 10 on 30, Sunday, Sunday, tomorrow. Night. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, looking forward to them. Thanks a million. Good to talk Thanks. to you, Mick. Thanks, and Thanks for all your support. The, not at all. Not at all. More than welcome. And the website again, if you're listening and you want to head along and you want to find out exactly what's going on uh, today and tomorrow, again, it's braysummerfest.com. Um, and if you haven't been, I really would recommend it. It's great.